As long as I've had the quest, I've wanted to be able to not only play virtually, but work virtually as well. And even though there has been many apps to allow this for the longest, I wasn't able to do so natively. But now, with this new update to Meta Remote Desktop, not only can I connect to my Windows PC with an ultra wide screen, I can also finally control it within the headset without ever touching the PC. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the crazy overhaul that has happened to Meta Remote Desktop that is built now into the OS system. And if you're using Windows 11 machines, it just takes it to a whole new level. And I'm about to explain that uh, shortly here. But as you can see, I have a mouse that's actually connected to the Quest, not to my PC. It's connected to my Quest. I have a keyboard that's connected to my quest and now you can see i can say this is i can't type today cool right all right so you can see that it's actually being used i'm also able to not only use a mouse and keyboard now on my computer connected directly to the quest i can also just use my fingers look at that so i can bring up a window click on things I could move an application here. I could, of course, draw like this. You know, if I want to collect all of my files here and then move them collectively at the same time. Once again, click the Google Chrome, scroll through the web page. But also, with this wonderful pass through, I can also look down and you can see I use my keyboard. I can go Google here, something like Zuckerberg is cool, right? I butchered my man's name, you know, but hey, it, 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 it's like a bird tool, man. I, it, it's pretty cool. All right, so you see that I can actually just pull up the images here and it looks uh, great. So I can, of course, maximize the screen, get more real estate here, but it's more features that are hidden inside of remote desktop. So when you click up here, you can see here we can go and bring it in a little bit closer so you guys get a see let's do gotta get your hand just right when you do this uh so you can see that there's sections here so we have settings we can click on that this is just going to show pc vr and remote desktop information uh, but then when i click on use hands and controllers with your computer you can turn this on or off so if i turn this off uh, i'm not going to be able to do uh, click on anything but once i turn it back on let's see if i can get it to come back there we go uh, i'll be able to then use my hands or my controllers as a mouse input this is important too if you don't have a bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected or even just a bluetooth keyboard you can also bring up this so one of the things you can do is kind of you can't lay it flat just yet i think that's going to eventually come but what we can do is i can type here type this so you can see i'm able to use the computer with a virtual keypad this proves to you that this is actually working on a remote desktop here now remember this is only for windows 11 i actually tried uh, to connect to my mac os and do the same thing currently as of right now it does not function that way but maybe in the future uh it will so of course we can go back up here you have computer audio so i can literally have the computer audio streaming as you can see i have larger text default or more space watch when i click on more space what's going to happen it's going to actually get the 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 wide screen because we'll, we'll get to that in a second it's just going to make the screen a little bit more easier for me to add even more text on the screen so now when i open up this you can see compared to what we were looking at first let's go back in and i'll show you here uh boom 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 default notice how many images are going to show up on the screen compared to what we had previously so that's just one of the things that's really nice uh, that's been with it for a little bit display format we talked about this before going to show you here i can change from a compact uh window so you'll see what that looks like could like a regular 27 inch maybe monitor uh to then to a wide which is where we were at uh just a few moments ago and then we can go even crazier to ultra wide now ultra wide is going to automatically put you into cinema or theater mode uh where it's going to only allow you to see 
this screen uh, and so everything else around you kind of gets darkened but this allows you something really cool whether i'm in pass through or not as you can see my even my pass through environment is, is darkened uh, but i can go into my virtual environment or i can be here and i can still use the computer in a very large space so why would this be good well of course if you're playing anything like uh, video games and things like that any type of games here you can have a wider screen or maybe you want to get more work done you want to have multiple windows up at a time uh, you could do that as well so that's one of the benefits there now I, I normally don't use it in this way because I, I kind of like just why but let me also show you portrait mode and let's go ahead and exit out of theater mode so why would this be cool now I probably wouldn't uh, do the portrait mode on my main screen, but what I can do also is I can also add multiple displays. So watch what happens to my left here. We have uh, my other display. Now I don't have physical monitors uh, like that. So I have one monitor right over here, as you can see, uh, that is just uh, a wide screen. Um, so, you know, I don't have two monitors. Uh, so I also don't have three monitors. That's right. I still can do all three monitors with a widescreen and watch this. When I come on over to here, I can actually change the format of this one to portrait and even keep that one over there in regular landscape. So I have this one in portrait this one in widescreen and this one in compact mode and they work across the thing so look I, I can bring it over here bring it over there i can make this screen size a tad bit bigger as well so if we come with my mouse i can actually try to grab it here and i can this is why a mouse is really nice or you know use your hands so i could also do it with my hands here just to prove it i could come here you just gotta get that hit point just right and then I can also move it to where it's not connected and put it way out there into space. So now when I put my mouse over, I can really get things done. Now apps like Immersed um, were doing this a long time ago. Uh, so you were able to have multiple monitors pretty easy, but this is a native way uh, to do this. So you can see I'm just controlling this with my mouse and now when I bring windows across from one to another, watch this uh, up there and then boom over here. Like this is fantastic. And now I will say this, I was hoping to be able to use this when I'm not at home that hints the word remote desktop. Uh, but unfortunately, as of right now, maybe it's just because it's early days of this. This functionality only works when you're on the same Wi-Fi. So just a heads up, uh, if you get don't get too excited to think like me, I was like, oh man, I, being able to have this much functionality remoting into my Windows computer at home, uh, this would be fantastic. But unfortunately, for right now, uh, Meta has decided or Windows has decided they want it to be something that's locked into uh, your own Wi-Fi, probably for the best uh, so that you can have the best connection possible. But yeah, as you guys can see, that is the overhaul to remote desktop. So many great features. Um, I think this is one of the reasons why uh, I never bet against Meta. Uh, they always find a way uh, to level it up. You know, being able to have multiple monitors, multiple settings, multiple resolutions, and be able to use the keyboard and mouse connected to your device while also being able to still pull up other windows as well. I think that's great. But you know what else is great? You know what else you should continue to pay attention to? Hmm? Hmm? This channel. So why don't you subscribe? Why don't you hit the thumbs up? Why don't you comment below? Let us know how much you enjoy this content and hit that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes because I promise you, you got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy Jay Dunn. I'll see you next time. Peace.